Hello, today I'm going to talk about uh, three innovation traps in three different companies that experienced uh, different innovation traps that we've uh, recently um, learned about and studied in the reading and the lecture. The first um, company and the trap that I'm going to reference would be a, the strategic trap and it would be the Kodak Corporation. Um, as many of you know or don't know, Kodak used to be uh, a powerhouse in the film development business and photography business. And now they are relegated to many people don't even know who they are. And it's because the digital uh, photography revolution took over. And <clears throat> they did not, their innovation trap was they did not embrace the strategy of the coming change. Ironically, the digital um, capabilities were developed by one of their engineers. His name was Steve Sasson, and he worked for Kodak, and he developed digital photography. And the leadership um, thought that it would be too much of a, uh, <clears throat> not a big enough win for them. So it was, the scope was too small. Um, and they just brushed him off. Fortunately for them, they did patent the idea, which ultimately they licensed out their patent and gave them a few more years of revenue. But the company went bankrupt in 2012. Um, from its height in 1990, it had 145,000 employees, and then it went bankrupt in 2012 with just about 6,000 employees, and it's still limping along. But had they broadened their scope, and um, change their vision and their strategy to embrace this, um, they probably would have jumped on board of the digital revolution and Kodak would still be a major player. But um, they were, uh, their strategy was too, um, hurdle was too high and their um, scope was too narrow. They needed to broaden their scope. Um, next was, um, I found it really intriguing, the example in the reading about the BBC, that their programming was becoming stale and very narrow-minded for their television programming, and that one of their um, younger employees found some extra money in the budget and um, put together the pilot of the show The Office, which I um, am a fan of. I find it very interesting and funny. And so while they were falling victim to a process trap of setting budgets and whatnot, uh, somebody in the company had the foresight to leave a little bit of money in the budget for some experimentation. And fortunately for the BBC, this individual uh, used some of that money and developed the pilot program and the office is off and running as it were. And finally, um, the last one is the company that I'm currently involved with, Allstate. Um, I believe that currently they are suffering from the leadership is too weak um, innovation trap that they are just putting a numbers person in place to lead the company and not having an individual who really understands the relationship between the corporation and their distribution model, which is uh, in person uh, agencies, small agencies throughout the country. And they've just got somebody in there crunching the numbers and they're failing to recognize the um, needed um, interpersonal skills and the ability to maintain and develop and build and leverage that relationship. So I believe it's a failure of leadership on their part and they need to make a shift and address that relationship and ultimately um, bring in somebody who has the ability to bring parties together and um, create a win-win situation for everybody. Thank you.